I know, I know, I know. Where have I been? I've been busy. People get busy sometimes, you know? It's just how life is. I've been here though, I swear, I've been here. I know I've been gone for a little over a month now. It's a long time, but I've been productive. Uh, I've been getting my life in order to my uh, own standard, I guess the word would be, or phrase. Um, I've just been busy, you know? But I will say like I've been going to the gym more, or I guess I just fully officially started getting back into the gym. Uh, I'm just trying to get my cardio back. Um, I have asthma, so it's difficult for me whenever I'm not working out, which honestly is a good motivator, um, to breathe. Because when I'm not working out, I don't have my systems, you know, pumping on all cylinders. So I get a little like congested in my chest and like I just get respiratory issues. So um, a lot of what I do at the gym um, has been cardio. And I like to, I do like a lot of the uh, rowing machines, the treadmill, the blah, 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 blah. Um, and I started weightlifting as well, so I'm trying to get the gains back. I know you guys haven't really seen too many muscles, but I'm going to get them, I swear. Um, but yeah, besides that, I'm back in school. It shouldn't be like too much longer until I'm out of it, but as of right now, I'm in the middle of school. A lot of reading, a lot of tests, a lot of this, a lot of that. Um, a, very, a very bad lack of sleep problem, but I'm working through it. I've almost got a pattern down. Um, but... I haven't been intentionally neglecting this. I feel like that's what this video is about. Not really an explanation, but more of a, let's both understand what's going on, right? So as for me, I'm doing good. I didn't just fall off the face of the earth for a month just because I got busy, right? But during that time, I've been educating myself and I've been putting myself in positions to learn things and I've been holding that information just to come back and bestow that upon you guys. Now, like I've said in the past, this whole video thing is purely like a diary for me. So yes, in the process of me talking to myself and almost uh, giving that information um, to myself in the future, I hope to also enlighten you guys as you guys watch me through my journey. And I think it's going to get very interesting very soon. And I'm excited to not just show you guys what I'm up to, but to actively involve you guys. And I think that's going to be a great experience, not just for me, but for you guys. Um, anyways, I'll end this short video with a really cool quote <clears throat> that I just heard. And I'm absolutely going to butcher it, so I'm sorry. But I've been listening to this audiobook. It's called The 48 Laws of Power. I've only gotten two laws in so far, so don't, you know, get too iffy with how I feel about the book just yet. I'm still learning. I think it's really good so far, though. <clears throat> but there was a quote, which I kind of harped on a little bit by accident um, in a prior video. But it said, keep your, it's, all right, <laughs> let me just take a second. It was something along the lines of, if you have no enemies find a way to make them and I, I had to listen to the quote literally like two or three times I was like so enthralled by the idea of what that was asking not just me but others to do and what has been asked of others to do in the past it, it's crazy to think that you know people want to live their life without hardship people want to live their life without difficulties and that's that's a very common sentiment I, of course, also want to live that life. You probably also want to live that life. But that's not a life to live. And it's not just saying, hey, you should live your life um, in a difficult way or live it as in a hard way as possible. It's not saying that. It's saying that in order to shop, sharpen your own iron, you have to have iron to sharpen it, right? You need people to show you who you are, even though you might not realize it. You need people to reveal your detriments, your downfalls, your weaknesses. So as to allow yourself to grow and to not just avoid those weaknesses, but to strengthen them and make them something that's actually usable, something tangible, something worthwhile. And it's interesting. I, I thought it was so, so, so smart where it was saying stuff about how um, friends are more likely to backstab you um, compared to enemies you turn into friends um, simply because friends um, get greedy by 
always being put in favor. So they're always getting things. They're always being looked at highly. They're always trusted. So in essence, they get comfortable and they have a more likelihood of betraying you. Now that's not everyone. Please don't misconstrue my words or the other people's words. It's just simply saying there's a higher likelihood of it. Now as for enemies, um, if you befriend an enemy, they have more to prove to you. They have to prove why your choice was valuable, why your choice was right, why it was good. They have to prove that I deserve to be in this position with this person. And by essence, they don't have as likely of a chance to betray you because they're simply not wanting to do the opposite of what you expect them to do. Now, I think that's so interesting. Um, and it's not saying that these are going to happen. This is a steadfast rule. It's just saying that there's probability and you should work to improve the probability in your life by whatever means possible. And that's just the one way of doing it by not putting yourself in a bubble, but allowing yourself to experience things and experience people who may not be good for you at first glance, but will be good for you in future development. So. I will leave it at that, and I'll let you guys think about that while I think about that today, too. Anyways, y'all have a good day, and I will see you very soon, I promise, for the next video. I will not leave you guys stranded for another month. Alright, bye guys.